Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and I wanted to share with you the design team project that I made. I made another journal for Done by Dorothy with her beautiful Misty Floral Collection. Now, please find the link to um, Dorothy's Etsy shop and these papers that I've used in this journal below this video. Do check her out. She's got lovely papers. And uh, this is the outside of the journal. It's got... What was it? Um, 56 pages front and back. It is for sale. So, and my Etsy shop payments are working again. Yay! So please check out my own <laughs> Etsy shop as well. I've got some um, great items in there. Um, there's more to upload. I've got more digitals coming. And this journal will be in my Etsy shop for sale as well. So I used as a cover, I used this um, file folder that I had. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a very sturdy. Of course, my label Made with Love by Lens Crafty Life. I use this blue ribbon and this beautiful blue trim. This lace trim is really, really gorgeous. As a closure, I strengthened the spine with some tape and it has like a, a, fa uh, a paper feel to it. So it has one signature that's sewn in. And this is the front. Oh, let me show you the beautiful side. This is actually from an earring that I found at a charity shop. And I just bent over the earring to go through the eyelet right there. I hope I'm in focus there. So I thought that was absolutely perfect since in the papers from Dorothy, there is um, the Misty Floral Collection. There's one paper and you'll see it in the journal that has a bird on it so i decided to pick up on the bird theme so this earring with these beautiful feathers and the blue went absolutely perfect uh, with this journal there's other um, um, colors in here as well it's not just blue so just wait and see there's lots of beautiful pastel colors in here and why am i stuck oh i'm stuck on my paper clip <coughs> excuse me now actually this is an envelope and i wanted to emboss it and use it as an envelope but the embossing made it crack so i couldn't use it as as an envelope so um i decided to keep it enclosed and double and the embossing really presses it together very strongly so i just use it as a card so um no cracking now. <laughs> I had this doily with the green in my stash. I can't crochet, so that's another charity shop find. And I put on this beautiful trim. And here on the cover, it flips open. And uh, this is a beautiful image from the Dutch artist Marjolein Bastin. And I, uh, you may know that I've picked up quite a lot of her books at charity shops. And now I've started using them. So I thought that went really well. And I kept it kind of calm the rest of the cover this time. Also because there's this little booklet that you can write in with some kind of cloudy... Well, they say parchment paper. I'm not sure. Well, okay, they call it parchment. I'm not convinced. but And this is some coffee light paper. Then some of that so-called parchment paper. And more coffee light paper. So little notebook on here, it is attached to the cover. Then in the kit from Dorothy, let me go to the middle of the screen. In the kit from Dorothy, there are also these calendar cards that she usually puts in her kits. And then here, this is actually, this is a post-it from a, uh, a post-it note um from um post-it notes with birds so i thought that went on there you can't take it off i've glued it down so just to make some notes and then we open the cover this way so from the lid from the envelope i made a tuck spot and i put in some goodies from the kit from done by dorothy and another calendar page, you can journal on the back. And this is just a piece of my own hand-dyed coffee paper. And then there is this little pocket. She, had, she has loads of these. So I decided to put them in just as, you know, note cards as well. But here I made a pocket out of it. And there's this tiny little tag also from Dorothy's kit. 
and I decided to use this beautiful trim that I've had in my stash for a very long time and I've hardly ever used it but I thought it went very pretty with these papers they are all soft kind of pastel paper so this is the first page from Dorothy's kit put some lace around it this is another page so they're all pastel and floral uh, colors and uh, labels she has here or tags I should say she's got lots of banners in a kit as well and I actually used one banner a large one to fold it over so here you can see the pointy edge of the banner shape and I used a Martha Stewart butterfly punch to create this beautiful butterfly uh, edging on the page because there's some butterflies as well in this kit let me first I've shown you that this is some graph paper this is another banner and of course you can you, you know you can do other things with these if you wanted to you know whoever's going to get this if you wanted to glue it in over a page or something then of course you can this I is I think my favorite I love roses I love pink my favorite colors so beautiful page with the old writing on there as well more beautiful pa pages in blue this is a pocket that was in the kit and again a banner and another banner two banners in there now this is actually a double pocket so you can tuck something here in the pocket hope you can see that and you can tuck something behind the pocket as well so one of these goes behind the pocket you just have to lift it up a bit and the i had it the other way around didn't i i had it like so so you can see the beautiful morning glory flowers love those so pretty and then just the tails of this banner you can see this is some old dutch um actually missionary um song pages or music paper now this is the page where it has the bird on it so really like that so that's why i picked up on the bird theme there's some pretty ribbon here this another calendar page which is stuck under the envelope so when i remove the envelope when i turn the page a little bit of washi tape then of course that calendar will fall out i curled up of all the um all the paper clips are curled off the the end bits the tails if that's what you call it just so that it, when you put it on it doesn't scratch the paper so this is the pretty one of the pretty envelopes there's several in there and here i just put in this other bird page that i got from a book recently that i got in a charity shop and this is some more of the coffee light paper you can see some of the lines I dried it on an oven rack, so you can use the lines to write on if you like. So that goes in there very easily. It flips over and then you just put it back here. And the calendar goes below there. More of the beautiful morning glory paper. Here are the butterflies. This is my own coffee dyed paper with the beautiful trim that I put on. And this is some old uh, book page. It's from a dictionary and it's old Dutch with German. Another curled paper clip with a banner and a tag from the kit. Some washi tape over here. Another one of these little tuck spots or pockets, I should say, with a tiny little tag. Now, these tags actually should print much larger. They're kind of almost like, well, not full size, but quarter sized, I think. But for some reason, um, they printed all very small when I printed them, but I think they're actually really cute. So you can obviously adjust the size of that apart from me i couldn't <laughs> but i'm not technical so i didn't manage it's probably just me more butterfly paper another great envelope with some old 
of that same Dutch German book page. I thought I'd give you a bit of extra from that. You know, this is this is genuinely old. I didn't do anything to this. This is not dyed or stained with any ink. So this just came over here and now you can see that a little bit fell here because these tags were actually tucked and they're the paper clip so I'll do that again and show you the way I had it just a larger one again this is a, a large curled paper clip and there you go so a few bits there there are also these hearts that were actually on the page with the tiny little tag so these hearts should actually be much larger as well just so you know. <laughs> Again, the Martha Stewart punch I used there, another calendar note, and I made a little pocket of tuck spot with more of these great tags. And this is actually some handmade paper. Now, not handmade by me. I got this in a little booklet in a charity shop, of course. More beautiful papers of Dorothy. I really like this with these lilies, so I decided to use that as the middle page. And because it's pink, I use some very soft pink. Um, actually, it's embroidery thread to tie the middle. And I had these beautiful beads with these beautiful soft pink, almost mauvey um but uh buttons excuse me beads in my stash so decided to put those uh, those on there since it's all very floral here another one of those tiny tags that should have been larger but i do like them so small and here in the back i'll show you later i use one of maria line bastan's bird large pages from a large book that I got to make an envelope and I had a little strip left over so this is a bit of that paper I made a tiny envelope out of that with some other of these tiny little tags that I put in there which fit perfectly so that goes in there then this is another envelope that's in the kit lots of envelopes and with butterflies on there very pretty and I flipped it over and made here a tuck spot out of that. So the envelope itself you cannot remove. It's stuck down. And this time used a bit of that pretty trim. But there is something in there. And another page from another Dutch bird book. Vintage bird book. And here even with the feather on it. Which I really liked. And you can journal on there of course. So that's a top flip. This is another beautiful page. Again, from the artist Marjolaine Bastin. And I thought these soft pastel colours went perfect with Dorothy's papers. Here again, the blues, which is you see here in the butterfly page. Again, some of that old dictionary paper with some washi tape and a little heart. And this, again, with a bird is a fabric it's actually from a curtain that i got at a charity shop and i thought it was absolutely beautiful so that's a flip flip up and here is a floating pocket from the kit and i just put some extra <coughs> beautiful bir uh, birds not birds flowers in there now you can leave it as is or fussy cut them and decorate this journal even more here and there are some pages I stamped on it. More of the butterfly paper and the morning glory. Now this is a new one for me. There were so many um, banners in this kit that first of all, which is not new for me and probably not new for you, I decorated this large paper clip. Now it shouldn't get stuck under there. Come on you. There you go. Now of course it gets stuck under here. Okay, you need to lift it up a little bit. So I decorated this uh, large paper clip again, curled the edges with this beautiful banner. And then this is what's new for me. I made a banner booklet. So you can either, 
This is from the um, another envelope that I embossed that I could not use as an envelope because it would tear the paper. The paper was too thin actually, so I learned from that. And I popped it in with, um, these are breads actually that I went over with some stays on ink because they're metal. And this is the little banner booklet now. You can, because I put them in with breads, here you can see, you can actually take out these banners and use them in the journal or you can use it just as a notebook and write on it. And this again is a Maya Lambertstam floral and uh, image with a bird and a butterfly. So that goes on here and this page is actually avocado dyed. It's a very very soft pink. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up and I stamped on it again. So this I put on there with the banner. I think I'll put it on later. Don't want to damage it. And beautiful papers from Dorothy's kit again in here. This is an envelope that is actually um, loose. You can take it out. I'll just show you here so you can see kind of like the layout. I put some extra floral paper under it again. Here, some extra uh, calendar. So here you go. This is the envelope. This is the floral paper that you've just seen. This is a larger page from a different book, but similar to the other one. And here in, in the in the blues and the mauves, purples. And this is a um, some writing paper. Again, I found that in the charity shop. And here on this side of the envelope, I made a little pocket with another tag. So that goes over here. But I'll pop the paper clip on later. Again, the beautiful butterfly punch from Martha Stewart. All of the beautiful papers from Dorothy. Here again, the, um, the flower trim. I added some of the little... So here I added the soft yellow flower clusters and then here a bit more stamping in the last page with the butterfly punch. And here is the large envelope that I made from another page from Marilyn Buster. This was from a, a very large book with large pages in there. So I made a, a large envelope and again there is some uh, handmade paper in here and some more music paper just for you to play with. And again, this is uh, in there with a large kind of altered paper clip with the uh, swirly bits, the little curls that I made and a little bit of stamping on that large last page. And of course you can journal on here as well. And there is the back. So there you have it. I will uh, put this back later. So if you're interested in this, especially in the papers from uh, Dorothy, please check out her link. And if you're interested in the journal itself, please check out the link to my Etsy store and you can see what other bits and goodies I, uh, I sell in there. Worth having a look. Now it's working again. Yay! So thanks a lot for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.